my bathroom. Today's video is going to be how I potty train or what actually our actual experience was with potty training. My toddler, she's now three years old and the week that she was going to turn three is the week that we did it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started and show you the items that you will need if you're trying to potty train and stuff that I really use. I'm not telling you that this will work for you because every kid is different and they will go on their way um, and on their time so be patient with that. I was feeling she's keeping on flushing the bathroom. Stop. Um, I was very um, nervous and kind of um, <laughs> with potty training her because she just wasn't i guess i was trying very early on that she didn't want her to sit on the toilet or the little one that i'm going to show you and then she was still using diapers and she was also three and she's a little bit taller than your usual three-year-old or two-year-old she's above a little bit above average on her height she's a tall toddler and people or moms were already telling me oh my two-year-old and a half it's already potty trained and yours is not or family members when are you going to potty train her when is she going to stop using diapers or they will tell her you're already too grandecita to be using your diapers and then mm, you know that's on the mom not on the kid so gives me a call so i'm going to show you the items that i needed and that we used to potty train her of course i got the year old uh, big toilet seat that you put in here to for her to use so she won't like poop, fall into the toilet since so she already knows how to use and she puts it there and off the first item ooh -hoo, don't be playing with that babe hold on the first thing over here excuse me excuse me is this little toilet it's already a bit dirty but it's in the bathroom this little toilet and of course it's princess and it's also a stepping stool and it has a bunch of other things a princess little thing the little thing that they can sit on and the little thing that you can dump their shenanigans out so it's easy to use it's just a fine little toilet that she can sit on and it's very accessible to sit on if she if mommy can be here look sit on it please babe See, very accessible. We used to have battery. If she flashed, it was like ding, thing kind of going on. So there's that. And then we have this. So we started with that. She was she was sitting there uh, perfectly fine. Oh, she's doing it now. Look. <laughs> um, she would perfectly sit there and um, do her business. And then whenever... Are you pooping? Yeah. Okay, whenever she wanted to use the big one, then I show her that she can move the little one over and then use uh, this one and put it on the toilet. Give me a minute. <laughs> she keeps on doing it. I went to get my little younger one. So, she would pee there. So, whenever she needs to use the big one, she actually went and put this. Actually, to tell the truth, she sometimes uses this and sometimes does not use it so she would come and put it on the toilet over here woohoo and then use this as a stepping thing to step in here and then actually use this thing so we ended up using little diapers not diapers underwears and these underwears are on the size 2t 3t and this is on the disney brand just regular old underwear for kids um and then at night, what we use is the pull-ups, uh, cool and learn, I guess. This one's Sophia the first. Um, we're using the pull-ups. At, at the beginning, I was using the rest of her diapers that were her size um, to just use them at night and, and just for her to do her business at night. But other than that, she uses now the the pull-ups um now um here's how it started i let her i told her she wasn't longer going to be 
peeing on the diaper that she needed to come to the bathroom. This took a whole, a whole hardcore week for her to learn. She did pee on her, on her underwears. Um, she did poop on her underwear. So there's that surprise there. Um, she learned how to pee very quickly to come and pee and tell me, oh mommy, I need to pee to, so we can come to the toilet. Um, unlike pooping, which she just like will poop there and then I would have to come and then dump it on the toilet and wash the underwear or literally throw it out because one of the time it was totally smeared I, I, I ain't gonna clean that toss it down the garbage and now I kept a fresh clean uh, diapers not diapers see uh, underwears on the bathroom hey so I move from the bathroom and because my my camera ran out of battery so I had to charge it and um, I moved like out from the bathroom here to my kitchen so I'm just gonna continue and telling you our journey to potty training now besides what I told you that you need the little potty or the toilet the little toilet ring for the kids on the toilet little underwears and extra diapers or pull-ups like I have here like I told you if, it, if I didn't tell you um, for night, we use the pull-ups. These are just like a diaper, but th they are actually like connected from the side and are like an underwear. She can easily pull them down, pull them down or pull them up uh, if she goes to the bathroom with one of these. But these are strictly only for sleeping time. So um, during the day, she wears the underwears or the fabric underwear. She, if she were to wear one of these, sometimes I put one if we're going to go... Um, we're gonna drive long like I had driven on Tuesday I drove an hour away from my house so I did left the diaper on or the pull-up on so if she needed to potty on the way she did it here and if they were to poop on the diaper or the pull-up you can easily just unvelcro them from the side and you can take it off and not be messy like trying to pull it down like if she really pooped or he pooped in it you can easily pull him down so all of this happened one week before her birthday like I told you that week we try to put it uh, for her to have the underwear uh, she did she did pee on herself but she would quickly want to change the underwear so she would go to the bathroom and in the bathroom I usually have clean or dry because I would wash them in the sink and just leave them there to dry and then she will just pick up the already dry one and put on the clean one and can't like whenever she wanted to go to the bathroom she would have been telling me that oh I need to pee so we would go to the bathroom and then she would pee like right now she went to her by herself or when she was wanted to poop she would tell me she wanted to pee still but when we were on the top not on the top on the toilet she would start pooping until the second week of her doing the <laughs> did you went pee pee no did you poo poo no she did so when when now <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, there was a, <laughs> hey we got to some days that she wouldn't tell me she wanted to poop and she would go on the underwear and I would know because she would be very calm or I would see watery eyes and then I would ask her, did you poop? And then she would say no when she actually did. And that happened to me, I could say a good handful of times that she pooped on the underwear. And sometimes it was very, and sometimes it was like solid things. So I just pop it to the pop it to the toilet and it was all good by the time we're like Ugh. I would pop it disgusting like it's it, it, like I know I would clean it off from the diaper I wouldn't really look at it when I wipe I would just wipe down won't see put it down and then the diaper on the underwear I would actually have to see it because I have to take it out and clean it you know what I mean it's like oh that's disgusting but right now, we haven't had any issues right now. We're going into the third week, I believe. Yeah, the third week of her um, being potty trained. And she actually is now going by herself. 
like going to the bathroom whenever she needs to. She does tell me, I don't need no pee pee. And I tell her, oh, go, go, go. And she would go and then do it on her little toilet on the bottom. And then now she knows how to take the little top and then dump it on the toilet. I will still assist, but I like her that she takes the initiative and she does it herself, you know? So now it's Bye -bye. all good. <laughs> So we are going fine. Some nights she does wake up with a wet diaper and some nights she doesn't. Um, she gets really thirsty at night and she likes to drink something at night, milk or anything at night. And sometimes even if she drinks, wakes up with a wet diaper and sometimes she doesn't. So it really doesn't um, kind of whoops. But we're still early, you know what I mean? I would like, wouldn't rush her now to go like not to pee on the on a night because like myself i pee at night like i actually get up and go to the bathroom so it's it's understandable and then she she's barely on the third week and actually like on the third not on the third good solid but like on the second solid good week that she's going to but yeah everybody and everybody it's different they can go earlier than three years old they can go after three years old it really depends and sometimes moms and family are very harsh to one another like moms and parents or other people because um you don't know the situation of the mom or how the kid is reacting going to the potty and you by saying well your kid hasn't been potty trainer my kid is already two and she or he is already potty trainer when are you going to be potty training like like if it's an easy thing it's not like you say it's potty day time and it's going to happen in a day no miracles happen rarely they do happen but rarely and potty train is one of the things that takes time and the kid kind of knows when is the actual time for it it's like breastfeeding breastfeeding stopped when she was going to turn two and actually on the week that it was her birthday and this happened again she started potty training on the week that it was going to be her third birthday so i'm very happy for that but the moms really and the family members really got me on that like when are you going to potty train so <laughs> but yeah that is my two cents on potty training and what we do what we use to potty train and that i'm extremely happy that i don't no longer have to buy diapers for luna but i still have over there to buy diapers for for a long time and to potty train so hopefully you guys find my video helpful and the things that i bought find my my statement my experience helpful as well that it takes time go slowly follow the lead on your children on your kid on your toddler on your baby on your daughter son they will tell you when they really need to, when they really are ready to go to the bathroom. Plug your ears to unwelcome comments. But yeah, other than that, comment any other tip that you have for me. Comment your experience down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And if you already did, thank you very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Sophia the first pull-up.